All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless you all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope that y'all doing all right and staying strong and solid in these times that we're in. I pray that you have repented and that you are baptized. I pray that you are safe, protected, and prayed up. And I just pray that whatever situation that you're going through, that the Lord is with you, that he guides you, protects you, he looks out for you, he comforts you. I pray that your mental health gets better and that you become more strong and wise in the Lord. I pray that you keep fighting the good fight of faith. You keep running your race. You keep your eyes fixed on the Messiah. You keep your eyes fixed on the prize. You stay on a narrow straight gate path that you help out plenty of people along your journey forevermore. Amen. Always remember that the Lord will never leave you nor forsake you and that the Messiah intercedes for you. The spirit intercedes for you as well. So always stay thankful, grateful, appreciative, and take it one day at a time. Most definitely, prayers up for mental health. Prayers up for everyone's conditions and situations out there. Amen. Most definitely. Yes. Let us thank the Lord for another day. Let us thank the Lord for waking us up and giving us another day to seek his face. Let us thank the Lord for food in our belly, clothes in our back, and a roof over our head. Let us thank the Lord for protecting us coming in and going out, guiding us through the morning, getting us through the afternoon, getting us through the evenings, getting us through the nights. He is constantly looking out for us with his grace, mercy, favor, love, the outstretched arm of God, the mighty hand of God, the finger of God, his word, his only begotten son who died for our sins. There's plenty of things the Most High has done for us throughout our lifetime and continues to keep doing for us because his mercy is everlasting and his truth endures forever. Amen. So always keep him first. Always worship him, praise him, call on him, sing a song to him, thank him, glorify him, exalt his name, lift his name on high. Trust him in everything you got going on in your life. Hearken to his word, hearken to his voice forever. Most definitely welcome everyone. I appreciate all of you for listening and supporting. It means a lot to me. I love you all. Praying for you all. Let us always uplift each other in Christ and encourage each other in the Lord. Let us always pray for each other and to see for one another, comfort each other, support each other. All those great, awesome, amazing things, people. Brothers and sisters of the faith all over the world, let us be together on one accord for the Lord. Amen. Much love to the 12 tribes of Israel scattered all four corners of the earth, all the scattered Israelites among the nations, all ends of the earth. Much love to the churches and ministries out there with the sound doctrine, the peace, the love, the harmony, the fellowship and the services. Much love to the previous martyrs, the current martyrs and the future martyrs, the brave, bold, isolated, courageous believers who are going through it for the gospel, who are being persecuted for the faith who are going through many tribulations and hardships for his name's sake. Stay strong, steadfast, firm, encouraged, because we are always rocking with you by your side. And the Messiah is with us always, forever, to the end of age. Hallelujah. Much love to the great tribulation saints down the road. Much love to all the grafted in Gentiles of all nations, tribes, languages, tongues, races, faces, kindreds all over the world. Much love to all the brand new converts out there, all the brand new believers of Christ out there. Much love to all the new creatures, the born again people, the Holy Spirit filled people, all believers, all walks of life. God bless all of you out there, most definitely. Anyone who just repented, God bless you. Anyone who just got baptized, God bless you also. Anybody who's having dreams, encounters, visions, and testimonies, God bless you as well. If you did not repent and get baptized, go repent and get baptized ASAP immediately. Shalom, family, greetings to all of you. Welcome everyone, all peoples, all nations, all tribes, all languages, all tongues, all races, all faces, all kindreds, everybody. Let everything that has breath Praise the Lord, all the animals, all the creatures, all the beasts, all the fishes in the sea, the birds in the air, the trees, the plants, the mountains, the insects. Let all of God's creation praise him. Amen. Whether you are an Israelite or a Gentile, it is all right. Whether you are chosen or adopted, grafted in, it is all right. Let us gather together and praise the Most High. Sing a new song, clap our hands, stomp our feet, praise him. Rejoice, always rejoice. Make a joyful noise, make a joyful sound, crowd to him, dance, express yourself, play an instrument. Do what you have to do for the Most High God. He is always watching us, so always serve him with gladness and joy. Always worship his spirit of truth. Amen. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Love the Lord your God with all your mind, heart, soul, strength, and might. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Let us keep doing Father's business and Father's will for the rest of our lives till the sun comes back. Amen. He is coming back like a thief in the night in a twinkling of an eye. He is coming back at an hour nobody knows but the Father. Let us be alert, sober, vigilant, watchful, prayed up, washed by the water, by the word, the washing of the water through the word. Let us keep our lamp and oil. Let us stay in our purpose and call it for the most high God. Let us know the Lord better. Let's get more close to him. Let's seek his face. Draw near to God. He will draw near to you. Let's obey the gospel. Let's obey the law, statutes, and commandments. Let's obey all of God's word. Anything the most high has told us personally according to our life, our calling, our purpose, our situation, our gifts, our talents, our circumstances, handle it, people. Keep it all together for the most high God. Keep the faith. Keep the word of God. Keep the testimony of the Messiah. Keep the law, statutes, commandments, decrees, precepts, ordinances, covenants, judgments, charges, observances, 
everything. Get a five subject notebook, get a pack of 24 pens, get a Bible, write a whole copy of the Torah from Genesis all the way to Deuteronomy by the jot, by the tittle, by the line, by the precept. Embrace the new covenant. Stay strong and encouraged out there. Take it one day at a time, people. You are forgiven, redeemed, loved, restored by the most high. So stay strong, stay upright, people. Amen. And today's message, what I love to do is go through today's daily devotion on the email. And then from there, I will close out with the prayer. I will close out with the priestly blessing and I will close out giving all the praise, honor, glory to the most high God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And praise is only begotten so who died for our sins. Amen. Hallelujah. So here we go. All right. Let's see. Your daily prayer is based in the book of Mark, chapter 6, verse 15. The daily devotional quote starts off with, quote, true legacies are built on righteousness, not popularity. Quote, amen. Today's daily devotional focus on the beheading of John the Baptist. Herod imprisoned John and under manipulation from his wife made a promise that led to John's execution. This story teaches us about the consequence of prioritizing social standing over righteousness and how true legacies are endure. Story, Bible in a year, John the Baptist, scripture. For Herod feared John, knowing that he was a just man and unholy, and observed him, and when he heard him, he did many things and heard him gladly. Mark chapter 6, verse 20. Have you ever faced a situation where doing the right thing came at a personal cost? Herod faced a, such a dilemma with John the Baptist. Herod imprisoned John, not because of guilt, but due to anger and influence of his wife. Though he feared John and knew he was a righteous man, Herod's wife manipulated him into promising to kill John. When it was time to fulfill this promise, Herod chose to prioritize his social standing over righteousness. This decision not only led to John's tragic death, but also reveals the dangers of value and public opinion over moral integrity. Are there moments when you struggle to make the right choice because of what others might think? John the Baptist's story reminds us that standing firm in your convictions can sometimes lead to a personal loss. Yet it is though through these sacrifices that our true character is revealed. Herod's choice to preserve his reputation over saving an innocent life underscores the importance of integrity over popularity. What can we learn from John's unwavering commitment to his mission? Despite his tragic, his tragic end, John's legacy endured. Jesus' ministry continued to grow, and John's work paved the way for a greater purpose. This teaches us that our actions, even if they seem futile or costly, can have a lasting impact beyond our understanding. Amen. Reflection. Reflect on areas in your life where you may be compromising your integrity for the sake of social acceptance. Are you making decisions based on what others might think or what is truly right? Take time to seek God's guidance and courage to stand firm in your convictions, even when it costs you personally. Remember, true legacy is built on the foundation of righteousness and truth, not on the fleeting approval of others. Amen. Scripture. Others said that it is Elijah and others said that it is a prophet or as one of the prophets of old. Mark chapter 6, verse 15, the prayer. Through the life of John the Baptist, I see that the ultimate sign of a life well lived is to say that no matter where I end up, I can full, I can with full confidence say that I lived and represented Christ in everything I did. In the face of persecution, I will praise you. In the face of ridicule, I will praise you. Even when my head is on the chopping block and I could lose everything, I know that in Jesus, He'll restore what the enemy has stolen from me. My strength comes from the fact that Jesus conquered sin and death, and because he did, conquering the trials and obstacles on the journey to my destiny is a given. For greater is he who is in me than he that is in the world. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Stay strong and bold, people. Stay courageous. Hallelujah. Praise the most high God of heaven and earth. Yes, he is the God of Shem. He's the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. He is the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob forever. He is the God of Israel. He is the God of the Hebrews. He is the God of Jeshurun. He is the God of Noah, Job and Daniel. Hallelujah. Praise the most high God. He is the Lord of the armies. Praise the most high God. He's the God of David. Praise the most high God. His only begotten son died for our sins and rose up three days later. Much love to the Messiah for shedding his blood for all of us. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He is the last Adam, the second Adam. Praise the Lord. He is the advocate. Hallelujah. Praise him. The almighty, true living God. Praise the Lord. The Alpha and Omega. Amen. The apostle of our profession, the arm of the Lord, the atonement sacrifice for our sins, the author and finisher of our faith, the author and perfecter of our faith, the author of life, the author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the beloved son, the blessed and only potent, the blessed and only rule, the blessed and only sovereign, the branch, the bread of God, the bread of life, the bridegroom, the capstone, the captain of salvation, the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd, Christ, the Christ of God, the constellation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, wonderful counselor, 
the creator, the day spring, the deliverer, the desire of the nations, the door, the elect of God, Emmanuel, Emmanuel, God is with us, eternal life, everlasting father, faith and true witness, faithful and true, the faithful witness, the first and last, the first begotten, the first born from the dead, first born of all creation, the forerunner, the gate, the glory of the Lord, God, the good shepherd, the great high priest, the great shepherd, the head of the church, the heir of all things, the heir of all things, the high priest, holy and true, the holy one, the hope, the hope of glory, the horn of salvation, the I am, the I am that I am, the I I am who I am, the great I am, the image of God, Jehovah, 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 Jireh, Jehovah, Shalom, Jehovah, Nassai, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the judge of Israel, the judge, King eternal. He is a king of Israel. Amen. He is the king of kings. Hallelujah. He is the king of kings and Lord of lords. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest praise. Hosanna, the son of David. Blessed be he that comes in the name of the Lord. We have blessed you out of the house of the Lord. King of saints, king of the ages, king of the Jews, the king, the lamb, the lamb of God, the lamb without blemish, the last Adam, the lawgiver, the leader, commander, the life, the lie of the world, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the living one, the living stone, the Lord, the Lord, our righteousness, the Lord is holiness, the Lord is my banner, the Lord is my portion, the Lord is my strength, my rock, my refuge, my good fortress, my high tower, my shield, my buckler, my strength, my safety, my defense, my redeemer, my salvation, my helper, our protector, our provider forever. Yah, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Be Yahweh, Ahai Yeshai, Yeshua Hamashiach, Barakatha Shalom Shalom, Yeshua Elohim, Yehosha, Yehusha, Yehosha, Ahai Yeshaya, Adonai, Abba, He is the consuming fire. He is the father of heavenly lights. He is the father of the fatherless, the father of widows, the father of mercies. He is the God of heaven and earth. His son sits at the right hand of him. The government rests on his shoulders. He is the great physician, could cure all things, heal all things. He is the carpenter, could fix all things. With God, all things are possible. Possible. Nothing is too hard for the Lord. God made everything in six days and rested on the seventh day. He could fix the situation right now in the name of Jesus. We touch and agree, y'all. Call on him. He'll show you great mighty things. Search and seek him with all your heart and you will find him. He is a rewarder to those who seek him diligently. Know that he exists. Believe in him. Trust him. They could do for you. Abide in him. Abide in his word. Ask the father what you need in his son's name. It shall be given to you. Healing, restoration, deliverance, miracles, signs, wonders, help, double portion of blessings, unexpected good news, unexpected good turnarounds. I speak all that over your life forever. Hallelujah. Praise the most high God forever for his favor and his grace upon our lives. Yes, we know that for the rest of our lives, the outstretched arm of God will be in our lives forever. The mighty hand of God will be in our lives forever. The finger of God will be in our lives forever. We are in agreement with the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. God is one. And we know that we walk by faith and not by sight. We're justified by faith in the Messiah. Our faith has saved us. Our faith has blessed us. Our faith is how we overcome the world. Yes, our faith has blessed us for sure, people. We are justified by faith always forever. Most definitely. Yes, he got us forever, people. His timing is perfect timing, due timing, on timing, God, we serve. Hallelujah. Praise him. Yes, he is the Lord of all, the Lord of glory, the Lord of lords, the man from heaven, the man of sorrows, the mediator of the new covenant, the mediator, the messenger of the covenant, the Messiah, the mighty God, the mighty one, the morning star, the Nazarene, the offspring of David, the only begotten son of God, our great God, and savior, our holiness, our husband, our Passover, our protection, our redemption our righteousness, our sacrificed Passover lamb, the power of God, the precious cornerstone, the prince of kings, the prince of life, the prince of peace, the prophet, the redeemer, the resurrection of life, the resurrection, the resurrected of life, the life giver, the abundant life, the revelation, the revelator, the righteous branch, the righteous one, the radiant one, the perfect example, the rock, the root of David, the rose of Sharon, the rule of God's creation, the rule of the kings of the earth, the savior, the tender plant, the, send of, the seed of woman, the shepherd and bishop of souls, the Shiloh, the son of Abraham, the son of David, the son of God, the son of man, son of the blessed, son of the most high God, the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him, the son of righteousness, the just one, the one mediator, the stone the builders rejected, the true bread, the true God, the true light, the true vine. He is the truth, amen. He is the way, hallelujah. He is the way to the life. Praise him. The wisdom of God, the witness, the wonderful counselor, the word, the word of God, the word of life, the word of Yahuwah, the word of Elohim, the word made flesh, the living word, the word of Yahusha. Hallelujah. Praise him. Most definitely his word is pure, fine silver. Just as David said in the Psalms, we know that every word of God is true, pure, and flawless. The book of Proverbs says, and we know that his words are double S, so as the book of Hebrews says, amen. We touch and agree. Prayers are for all peoples, all walks of life. Prayers are for the, the, the poor people, the widows, the orphans, the fatherless, the tribe of Levi. Prayers are for the strangers, the joiners, the foreigners, the refugees. Prayers are for the babies, the children, the young boys, the young girls, the teenagers, the young men, the young women. Prayers are for the adults, the senior citizens. Prayers are for the elders. Prayers are for single people, married people, divorced people, widowed people. Prayers are for single parents, co-parents, and all marriages, all households, all relationships. Prayers for everybody, all four corners of the earth, all countries. Our Father in heaven, hallowed 
hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts. We forgive our debtors and do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours, the kingdom and the power and the honor and the glory forever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And they shall put my name on the children of Israel and I will bless them.